Good afternoon. Can everybody hear me? Okay, I'm a little short. I got to move this. <laughs> Good afternoon. My name is Tina White. I am the president of the Brockton Rotary Club. I'd like to welcome you to our annual scholarship luncheon. So congratulations. If you can all rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Rich Morgan is going to do the reading of the invocation. Thank you. Welcome to Rotary. Uh, this is a, an excerpt from uh, Jack Hanfield, who wrote uh, Chicken Soup for the Soul. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have read, read that book, and he, a lot of other books also. But any, anyway, this is from Jack Canfield. Uh, in seeking to transform our lives, we ask for guidance and clarity. We ask that we find our purpose, our mission in life. We ask for, for divine inspiration. We ask to be of service. We ask for help in releasing any old negative or limiting thought patterns. We ask that our thoughts and actions unfold not only in our lives, but in the lives of others. We are thankful. We ask for peace. We ask for harmony. We ask to make a difference in the world. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. You can take your seats. We're going to conduct our meeting a little different than normal today. So if you bought a red ticket, we're going to pull that right now. Christine, do you mind pulling the ticket? We're going to try to take care of our Queen of Hearts beforehand. I always seem to forget. So we're going to make sure we get it done right off the bat. The last three are 668. Oh, Gino. <laughs> All right, Gino, come on up and pick a card. <laughs> Any card. Close, but no cigar. Nine of clubs. Thank you, Gino. We're going to start right into our lunch. The first two tick, um, tables on this side, could you please start with the buffet lunch? Perfect. Please continue to eat. We have a very sp busy schedule today, so I'd like to call the meeting back to order. Um, I have a few thank yous. Rich Morgan, thank you for your invocation. It was wonderful. Thank you very much. Um, Cheryl, thank you for being the greeter. Lou, thank you for doing the Queen of Hearts. And Christine, thank you for um, manning the table. I appreciate it. Good job, everybody. Thank you. Um, a few quick little updates I'd like to give. Um, Carl Kowalski, past president Carl Kowalski, had a um, procedure last week. He is doing well. So if you would like to send him well wishes, um, please do. And our last meeting of the year is our June 22nd installation. We still need your RSVPs. Rotarians, if you have not sent me your RSVP, please do. Um, and I would like to wish everyone who has a June birthday, happy birthday today, whether you're a Rotarian or not. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> okay. So, I'd like to congratulate the students on their achievements and let everyone know that today we are giving out a total of $19,500 in scholarships. <laughs> the Brockton Rotary scholarships are second semester scholarships, so students, please listen. That means that you, once you complete your first semester, you'll turn in the pa required paperwork to us and we'll send you out your awards check. All the information and directions you will receive today and um, along with your award certificate. The Rotary Club is celebrating our 105 years of service this year. Um, we are blessed that the wonderful Rotarians that came before us had the vision to create our charitable and education fund. We call it the CNE. And it is our charitable 5013C arm of our club. 
With this creation, those Rotarians gave generously to build up our investment fund, and that is why we are able to award the scholarships and donations that we do every year to the community. Today we are announcing some of the named scholarships that have been created in memory of some of these wonderful folks and that we are happy to honor and remember. And you, the program is on the table if you want to follow along. So we're going to start, and like I said, we have a tight schedule. Um, first, hold one second, here we go. Our first scholarship is the J. McGillis Scholarship, named after former Brockton High School and Boston College star football player who died of cancer at BC, but was an inspiration to everyone who knew him. Our club named the scholarship in his honor at the Brockton High School Thanksgiving game in 1992. So you can understand who Jay was. The quote on his headstone reads, the quality of a man's life is measured by how deeply he has touched the lives of others. That completely resonates with Rotary and, and our mission. So I would like to ask Tom Samaras and Mike Landers to please come up with Mackenzie Quinn. Mackenzie Quinn is the valedictorian of the two th of the the twenty the, the twenty twenty three senior class at Brockton High School. Her love for nature and everything outdoors has led her to pursue her dreams in becoming an env environmental scientist. Next year, Mackenzie will continue her journey as a freshman at Stanford University. I've had the great honor and privilege to have coached Mackenzie as a member of the Brockton High football coaching staff. I have coached football for over 27 years, and this year I experienced the greatest touchdown I have ever seen. Mackenzie, Mackenzie is not someone that plays football. She is a football player, and there is a huge difference. No one works harder in the classroom, weight room, off-season field work, or on the practice field. Day in and day out, Mackenzie gives 100%. Be because of this, her teammates, her brothers, have the ultimate respect and love for her. Mackenzie is the first female athlete to score a touchdown in the history of the Brockton High School football program. E even though that, <laughs> even though that is a special accomplishment in its own right, that is not what made it the greatest touchdown in Brockton High history. What made her touchdown so special that Friday night down in Dartmouth was the joy and happiness it brought to her football family. I have seen game-winning touchdowns before in my career, but nothing will ever compare to the emotion that was felt, felt that night. To make, so many, to make so many so happy is very special. Everyone was so happy, not because you scored a touchdown, Mackenzie, but, but because of how much they love you. Mackenzie, thank you for that incredible experience, and thank you for being my daughter's hero. It is my pleasure to present to you Mackenzie Quinn, the recipient of the Jay McGillis Scholarship. Congratulations. Our next scholarship is um, recipient is Alexandra P Pereira, introduced by Lou Victor, past president. Thank you, President Tina. 
It's my pleasure to introduce you to Alexander Pereira. Alexander is in the top third of his class here at Brockton High and plans to attend UMass Dartmouth. He's interested in mechanical engineering. Alexander? Hi, good afternoon. I just want to say thank you that I'm very grateful for this opportunity of receiving the scholarship. And thank you for all of you guys that showed up and showed support. So thank you. Our next scholarship is the Stanton W. Davis Scholarship. Stan was the CEO of Shaw's supermarket chain and a former Rotarian whose family donated over $10,000 to increase the scholarship money. Past President William Callahan will introduce Anthony Montrod. He's ready. So he's got quite a, Anthony has quite a sense of humor, is when I sat down at the table, his question was, so have you ever been president of this organization? And I said, yes, I was president in 1993, I think, if we check the records. And he says to me, I wasn't born then. <laughs> he was born in 2005. But Anthony's a nice young gentleman, he's here with his mother Maria and his brother Kevin. Uh, Anthony has decided to attend Mass College of Pharmacy and Health Studies in Boston. He was very active in the band, the marching band, the jazz band, and they had their banquet here last week. Uh, he's done very well at school. What, what I'm most impressed with Anthony is his, uh, his presentation, his letter, as part of his application. And in this, applica in this letter, he says more than once, several times, how much he wants to study and then come back and give back to his community. It made me feel very uh, proud of his letter and sh it shows how grateful he is for what he's receiving. Anthony? Um, I just wanted to say a few words up here and how I'm thankful for my family for everything they've given me and how they've pushed me through everything through school and where I'm going now. I have a tough 10 years ahead of me because I'm studying for pre-med, going to become a doctor and then that's how I'm going to give back to my community. I'll come back here and maybe I'll work in the hospitals here to help out people in the future. But I just wanted to say a few words, especially for my mother, who's done basically everything for me. I've made her go through so much stress for last minute planning and something happens and she's like, oh, okay, and then I get yelled at, but it was all worth it because <laughs> she's happy, she's smiling over there. But I also want to say thank you to my dad who isn't here at the moment, but he's also helped me through so much and I couldn't say any more to them, too. My biggest supporters out there. But thank you for all. Our next recipient will be introduced by Linda Siegel Croker, Janiah Andrade. Janiah is a graduate of Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School. She did a lot while she was in high school. She volunteered. Oh. <laughs> She volunteered with Mass Hire Youth Works while she was captaining her varsity basketball team, while she waited for her college acceptances. She's been accepted to pretty much every school she applied to, which is quite an accomplishment. She's going to attend Bristol Community College to start her career while she figures out what she wants to do. She originally thought psychology, but now she's thinking early childhood education. While at Southeastern, she did a dental assisting, assisting program. Realized she didn't really want to work with teeth, 
but she wants to give back, and the way she can do that is working with children. Congratulations. Our next scholarship is the Calvin Bourne Scholarship. Cal was a second generation Rotarian. He exhibited all the characteristics of a fine Rotarian. He truly put service to his community above self. Cal was a friend to all who knew him. Erin McGough is going to introduce Mackenzie Gomes. Hello everyone. I'm introducing Mackenzie Gomes, a senior at Brockton High School. She's participated in National Honor Society, Classical and Modern Language Honor Society, Competitive Dance, The Interact Club, Gay Straight Alliance, Dungeons and Dragons Club, Coding and Cyber Robotics, Volunteering with the Patriots Foundation, and Mentoring Younger Students. She has been pursuing an international baccalaureate diploma, and according to Brockton High School's website, this IB degree aims to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. She's maintained an outstanding GPA through STEM honors, AP, and IB courses, and she wants to be, work in chemistry or neuroscience to become a research scientist working in a lab. I'm pleased to say that she has accepted entrance at American University where she's going to be studying biochemistry. Congratulations, Mackenzie. Our next recipient is David Denise, and he'll be introduced by Rich Hines. Thank you, Tina. It's my pleasure to introduce David Denise. Uh, David just uh, graduated from Brockton High School on, uh, on Saturday. Uh, in his spare time, he uh, works at Market Basket in Brockton, and he also volunteers as an IRC assistant and student tutor. David's parents are, are both here, Dana and Corey. And this, the family lives uh, in the north end of Brockton, Montello section of Brockton, interestingly enough, two streets away where I grew up myself. So it's a, I, I can attest it's a wonderful uh, place. He has a sister named Sophia. And throughout school, David has excelled at anything to do with computers. So it's uh, no surprise that David will uh, attend Bridgewater State University and will enroll in computer science. Congratulations, David. They didn't tell me I was gonna be able to go up here and say anything, so I didn't prep anything. But, uh, so thanks. I wanted to just say though, it's a real honor to receive um, this scholarship from the Rotary Club. They do a lot from the big to the small and it all means everything to the people that get their help. So thank you. scholarship is the Henry Hansen Scholarship. Henry is a past president of this club, founder of Hansen Print, and the first of three generations of Rotarians. Henry was instrumental in re reviving the scholarship fund. His family donated over uh, $10,000 to the c &E fund in his memory, and we are very blessed to have Heather Hansen Moran introduce Kim Dye for this scholarship.
Welcome, everyone. Kim just asked me if I was nervous, and I said, of course I'm nervous. <laughs> um, so I wrote down a couple of notes. So it's my honor to introduce uh, Kim's mom, Fung, and sibling Ollie over here. And um, Tina just said everything I had written down about being a third generation Rotarian. And my grandfather was actually the president of the Rotary Club in 1950, so that was 73 years ago. So. Um, our family's been very honored to be um, part of Rotary. Um, Kim is a graduate of Brockton High School, listed as 21st in her class. Some of the things and activities and volunteering that she done, she's done, and I wrote a little bit of a list so I wouldn't forget anything. Um, Questbridge College Prep Scholar and Finalist, Math Teacher's Aid, Senior Executive Committee, Springfield College Diversity Program, Dialogue with Denison Fly-In Program, Young Leader Summit Scholar, Bumper Team Ambassador, uh, Varsity Tennis, and Virathon, and there's just so many more. Um, Interact Club was one of them. Oh, and was that the Rotary Interact Club? Yeah, it was like a, yeah, it was from the Rotary, yeah. Very good, thank you for doing that. And we hope you'll come back after you graduate, and if you come back to Brockton, we hope you'll come to our club. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Kim is interested in, um, in planning on majoring in architecture and with a double major in law. And she is gonna be attending UC Berkeley out in California where the weather is great. <laughs> I'm gonna let Chris say a, a quick thank you. Yeah, I, I would like to say a few words. Uh, I am grateful for this opportunity and I would like to say a few words to my family as well. Uh, thank you for my family's endless support on my educational journey. I can't put to words to how much my parents have helped me because pursue my goals and dreams. I'll always be grateful. Thank you. Our next scholarship is the Charles A. Fuller Scholarship. Charles is a past president of this club, was the owner and publisher of the Brockton Enterprise, and first of two generations of Rotarians. Also owner of WBET, allowing Rotarians to take over for a day, which was a radio station. Um, reviving, receiving all advertising revenue generated that day to go into our c &E fund for the scholarships, and whose family was a major donor of over $10,000. So I would like to ask um, Gary Oman to come up and introduce Tyler Erickson. <clears throat> Thank you, Tina. You know, Today's young adults, especially this remarkable group of scholarship recipients, seem to be getting smarter and smarter, younger and younger. <laughs> They're involved in school activities, sports, community service, and working part-time jobs, sometimes more than one, and all the while getting good grades. Tyler Erickson is no exception to that. Uh, Tyler's here this afternoon with his mom Jennifer and dad Christopher. Tyler has a 15-year-old brother Owen who attends Southeastern Regional. Tyler applied to about a dozen colleges and universities and was accepted at most of them and decided to go to Merrimack to pursue a career in athletic training. And he'll be in a five-year program. Um, I understand sort of a three and two, so by the time he finishes, he'll have his master's degree as well, so um, quite an accomplishment. Tyler played varsity baseball, and as a senior, tried out and made the varsity football team. No small feat, for sure. 
With his success at BHS, including his induction into the National Honor Society, the support of his family, and his drive, I'm confident that Tyler will experience much success in college and throughout his life. Congratulations, Tyler. <laughs> Well, we are making remarkable time. <laughs> I was extremely worried we were not gonna be able to make, get through everything today. Um, great job to every Rotarian that's helping today. Our next scholarship is the John Freight Scholarship. John is also a past president of this club. He was the driving force to triple the size of the CNE funds during his time in Rotary. He volunteered numerous hours, funds, and items for auctions to make the CNE fund a great success. And Claire has already made her way up. She is on time here. She's going to introduce Abigail Bertacci. And you go. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Congratulations to Abigail. She's an amazing, smart young lady. When I was reading through her application, I was so amazed because of the way, you know, she put everything together and her passion is beyond her age. She is interested in helping people and she's been volunteering um, with lots of different other activities that I can't really name. Um, Abigail is, has a GPA of 4.886. She ranks seven out of 769 and that's the most important because I think this beats the GPA these days. Um, she has been accepted at UMass and she's going to be pursuing, she's going to be studying biology and she'll be a pre-med specializing in cardiology. Her objective is beyond her years. She grew up privileged to have access to healthcare and she has seen the disparities that other people have faced, be it her fellow students or maybe in her community. And that's the reason why she wants to go and become a doctor and come back to give back to the community. And that's her main passion, which is giving back to the community through service. And I was like, how befitting that she's actually receiving a, Rotar a Rotarian scholarship where the motto is service above self. And she already is doing service above self at this tender age. Abigail, congratulations. The sky is the limit. Our next Scholarship is for, and I want to get this correct, Mardoche Dominique, and she is being introduced by Joanne Woods Young, past president, immediate past president. Thanks, Tina. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mardoche Dominique, and she just recently graduated from Brockton High School, where she did very well. She did a variety of different community service projects, and she was involved in several different things. She has decided to attend UMass Dartmouth after being accepted at Boston, Dartmouth, and Lowell, and she also was accepted to Morgan State. Was it Morgan State? Did mm -hmm. I say that right? But the thing I find amazing about her, she's going to study business at Dartmouth, but she already has a business of her own. This young lady is a makeup artist with her own business, so she's already displaying an entrepreneurial spirit, which I can only imagine is going to go even higher when she continues with her college degree. So I'm very pleased to introduce you today. Um, 
Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone that came here today. Thank you to my mom and my grandma who have supported me along this journey. Um, thank you to God for allowing me to have this opportunity. And yes, once again, thank you, everyone. biting at the chomp here. You're pushing me. <laughs> okay, our next um, scholarship is the Frank Sargent Scholarship. Frank is also a past president of this club. I'm not this tall. Okay, and was the principal of Sargent Supply and longtime Rotarian, whose family also donated over $10,000 to increase our, the scholarship money. And um, Marcel McLaren is int being introduced by Amy Quorum. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Mc the Marcel McLaren and his very supportive parents and grandparents who are here. And uh, Marcel was ranked number four out of 769 students in his class with a GPA of 4.9. And he was accepted out of nine of the colleges uh, out of the 14. And he has decided to go to Howard University. And yeah. At, at Brockton High, Marcel discovered his love of performing arts, acting in the drama club, and he was senior director of a Feb, uh, February Fest show, and uh, he ran the Instagram page. He is a section leader of the harmonics choral, chorus, which performed in many shows and competitions. This year, he auditioned and attended the American Choral Directors Association Natural Con National Conference and the Massachusetts Music Education Ed Educators Association Senior Festival, which is quite an honor. He has worked part-time at Starbucks for two years, and he already visualizes getting a degree in musical theater and fine arts. He sees himself on Broadway or on the screen and or teaching. The key to staying focused on your goal is to stay focused on your goal uh, and what you want to achieve in life. And when you have distractions, the obstacles uh, and obstacles, you must overcome them while maintaining your focus on your goal. Marcel seems to have this concept happening already and along with all of his successes, he will always be able to use his skills as a barista to make a fabulous cup of coffee. <laughs> Hi. Um, thank you. Uh, the scholarship is a lot of money. It's kind of crazy. Um, I wanted to say congratulations. Well, I didn't want to say because I wasn't prepared for this. But um, I want to say congratulations to uh, all the kids in here. The college process is very hard. and. Um, a lot of the things that you guys have accomplished and are going to do are pretty cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, thank you to my parents and my family, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> the food was great. And yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Our next scholarship recipient is Anna Veronica Loha, and she is being introduced by Jane Westerlund. And my notes are on my counter in the kitchen. <laughs> but I am so pleased and happy to introduce Anna. She, her family is from Ecuador. She attended and graduated from Southeastern Regional High School. Congratulations. And she was pinned in her junior year for her CNA, and she will be continuing her studies to be a nurse 
at Massasoit Community College and then go on to a four-year college after that. I have a lot of faith in Anna that she is going to do a lot of good for Brockton and for the world. Congratulations. I would just like to um, ask that all the scholarship recipients stay when we um, conclude the meeting. We would like to take a nice picture of all of you. Um, and Richard Hook, I will need your help with that. We'll put some chairs out. Okay. So my nerves to do most anything with a program, if you know me, you know, go through the roof. We started very early because I was sure we were not going to be able to fit everybody in. Everybody did such a great job, we we're going to end early. <laughs> so our very last but not least scholarship recipient, this is the Chief Edward Sunny Burrell Scholarship. Um, chief was the survivor of the Strand Theater fire and a longtime fire chief of the city of Brockton and a beloved Rotarian. He's going to be introduced by past president Brent Warren, Stephen Nardelli. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it is my esteemed privilege to introduce Stephen Nardelli today, a recent graduate of Cardinal Spelman High School. Uh, had a wonderful time, too far away? I'm usually loud enough. Um, had a wonderful time sitting at the table uh, with his parents, Anne, and Fire Chief Brian Nardelli. Uh, as I sat there and we got talking, I found out that Stephen, uh, with his baseball career is actually a member of the same baseball club that my son's playing at, obviously a couple years difference. So I thought this would be a good chance for us to dive into the College World Series stats this year. <laughs> no, okay, we won't, we won't do that. So, so Stephen, like everybody else that's come up here, is a phenomenal student. He's done outstanding things over the course of his career. 444 GPA, which again, I look back on my career, I don't even know how that's possible. It was unattainable for me. Uh, he's been accepted in going to Suffolk, applied for a bunch of places, got into a bunch of schools like everybody else here. Um, four years of hockey, four years of baseball, treasurer of student council, uh, you name it, National Honor Society, it goes on and on and on. So really another wonderful student. I'm really proud. I think it's very fitting that you're getting the Chief Burrow Award <laughs> based on your family history. So uh, with that, I'd like to congratulate you and if, offer you to say something if you like. Uh, I'd, I'd just like to say thank you to everyone here today and the whole Rotary Club for the very generous scholarship. Um, it means so much to me and my family and I'd like to say a quick thank you to my parents. I couldn't ask for a better support system giving me the opportunity to do anything I'd like in life. So thank you so much. Okay, so we had a fabulous group of students and I'd like everyone to give them a round of applause one more time. I do have a few thank yous and because uh, you guys are awesome, we are going to have time to do happy bucks. So I would like to thank the CNE board, um, which is part of Picking the scholarships, um, we meet specifically to go over the applications that we receive, and I would just like to thank each and every one of you. If you are on the CNE board, could you raise your hand? They had a uh, say in who received scholarships, so thank you for, for your dedication to that. And I would like to thank all of the Rotarian chaperones today that helped, and Mr. Cooney for setting the stage for us. <laughs> we are going to do, um, some of them are going to So, excellent. So we have a tradition here at Rotary that when you're happy, you can give a couple of dollars in donations. That actually goes into that c &E fund that we've been talking about, and that helps us be able to do our scholarships and our donations. So 
Is anybody out here happy? Would you like to give a donation? Karen Ioli. I'm happy and honored to be among all of these wonderful recipients and congratulations to all of you. And my other happy buck is that we celebrated Gino's 91st birthday while we were in Italy. Nice. Thank you. Richard Hook, would you mind collecting? Richard, would you mind collecting the happy bucks? Thank you. Anybody else happy? Jane? Anybody else? Um, Lou. Well, I'm going to be gone for a few weeks. I'm going to be meeting my now two year old granddaughter for the first time, and I'll be making up a rotary meeting in Israel. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> Bill Callahan? I have 100 dollars for these students in the game. Oh. Well, another hand somewhere. Who am I missing? Yes. I'm happy to celebrate with all of those um, wonderful students. Uh, I want to honor the efforts. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> Scott. Right, I just want to say I'm happy that we uh, have a future that's in good hands. Yeah. With all these students, they're extremely impressive. Happy to have good health and uh, happy we're done with COVID. <laughs> Um, and happy to be here at the Rotary, so thank you to you for inviting me. I'm glad you were able to make it. Excellent. Anybody else? Oh, I see it. How about Claire? Go ahead, Claire. I'm happy for being here. Thank you for meeting such a wonderful young lady, very fashionable. And I'm happy that you are able as a little club to provide this opportunity to them. Excellent. Anna's sister. I just want to say congratulations to all you high school graduates and you know, some big stuff going into college, so congratulations to all of you. It's really hard to get there, but I also want to say congratulations to Anna. She's my son's first godmother, and she's receiving a scholarship today. I've seen her struggle with her homework, and she still pulled through to have really good grades, so I'm really proud of her. Nice. Anyone? Oh, yes. So is it that I'm really happy that um, kids who this all the work kids that not only graduated high school, which is really difficult to get through, but got accepted to amazing school and on top of that they volunteered <coughs> several places and they were involved in the community and that's really impressive and I really want to congratulate all of you Thank you. <laughs> all right, I am happy. Um, so our Rotary year ends at the end of this month. So I'm very happy because my, my year as president also ends. Um, but I'm extremely proud of all of the students in this room. Um, I think this is the first time we've been able to hold a scholarship lunch where everyone has attended. Um, and it's wonderful to see so many amazing students who are going to go on and do great things. So congratulations and thank you. Christine, I'm sorry. Did you? No. Oh, no. No, actually, Richard, I can take it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to conclude the meeting. If you are a scholarship recipient, though, could you please stay and um, come up? We're going to take a group picture. Please bring your certificate with you. Um, and parents, obviously, you can take pictures as well. Um, so thank you. Have a wonderful day.